Okay, good afternoon. It's Tuesday, May uh, 19th. Well, we closed the course at like 10 o'clock today for some routine maintenance. We, uh, we're doing five steps today. Uh, birdie cutting, mowing, top dressing, brushing that in and then spraying. I'll go through each step one by one. seen from the video is uh, verti cutting. Uh, the reason we do that is uh, to remove uh, thatch from the greens. Uh, helps reduce grain. It uh, also allows us to make channels for the sand. Uh, also cuts uh, the lateral growth to encourage vertical growth. It also helps uh, stand up the leaf blade for a, be a better and smoother cut. Step two is mowing. Uh, we, we like to do this when it's dry, we just get a, a really nice cut. Uh, as you see from the video, we have uh, Marco going 3-9. We alternate uh, every day, which when we, uh, when we mow, just helps uh, reduce uh, grain in the greens so that's why we change direction every day and change the way we do the cleanup some days we do do cleanup some days we don't step three is top dressing uh, we do this with a uh, the top dresser it uh, we do it in low gear the the reason why we top dress is the crown of the plant is all uneven so adding that sand uh, creates the, a level plane surface which makes the greens quicker uh, and healthier. Also we can get sand to fill in those verde cutting uh, channels. Uh, it's very important when we're choosing sand, especially for greens, we ch choose a sand that is USGA spec, it's approved by them. It uh, comes down to particle size, so we put down sand on the greens that is the same particle size as what's underneath the surface. Very important because if you don't, you can encounter many problems if you start using the wrong sand. So step four is we brush the top dressing sand in. Uh, we have like we have we use the the actual sand rake with the smooth tires on so it's a little bit less weight going onto the green and uh, let nice smooth tires uh, we uh, we also use a drag mat and we have an actual brush when we go a little bit heavier with the sand uh, this is just to work it into the channels into the the canopy really helps work that in Lastly, step five, we uh, then go ahead and do our weekly foliar spray. Uh, this is just to feed the plant. Obviously, we're hot, humid here in Florida. The plant's always growing. It's always expending that energy. We've got to uh, keep feeding that plant so it stays healthy, doesn't get attacked by diseases, uh, and pests. So we do that every single week. We, sometimes we change what we put in there. But all year is the quickest way to get it into the plant, so that's why we do it every week.